good. No need for you to go just yet. It's been a long time, Snake. Body, liquid burned on the Volta, wasn't mine. That was the body of a clone. Solidus. He was a perfect clone. Zero in the proxy AIs that came after him were convinced that Solidus was me. I was implanted with nanomachines, kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. They had me sealed away completely, not only my physical body, but my will too. Technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B and B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed, one way or another. Ocelot and Eva wanted two things: to bring me back to life and to end the Patriots. That meant destroying the AI and killing the man. JD and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into GW, the way to JD was opened, but only through the physical manifestation of GW. That's when we finally learned the location of this man, Zero. For me, and for them, for Naomi, nothing was more important. And it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion. Eva stole my body from them and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solidus. And Ocelot, in 
in order to fool the system, use nanomachines and psychotherapy to transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to turn himself into Liquid's mental doppelganger. For all our advances in nanotechnology, information and genetic control, they've never managed to control people at will let alone turn one person totally into another. Under certain conditions, someone can be made to play a specific role. Act like someone else. Cats do love to play as snakes. It all started with him. Zero. Zero grew old, and by the end his patriots were being run by a network without shape or form. What do you mean, without shape or form? Proxies were only one small part of the vast cycle that Zero created. The corporations, for-profits, and research institutions that comprise the military-industrial complex were part of it, too. They operated on budgets automatically allotted to them by the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. The network covered everything from weapons, R&D, and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people, the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. I don't think anyone realized that it was all a setup. The Patriots were those norms. A neural network reduced to its simplest form. That's what they really represented. Uniformity without individual will, without change. But then one day, those norms suddenly deviated from that pattern and underwent a mutation. It was like the birth of a new life form. The system found a new way to propagate itself. War. The norms the Patriots had crafted for their unified state quickly became dependent on a single business, the war economy. Meanwhile, the political cause of creating a cleaner, safer battlefield provided a convenient catalyst. By then, the system was no longer being steered by Zero's will or anyone else's. It was then that the norms, manifested as AIs, the inheritors of Zero's will, began to reproduce and take on a life of their own. Zero's original intent was to carry on the boss's will and establish a unified world state, an inside his successors failed to carry on his will. Eventually, JD became the very age itself, propagating its will as it pleased, and this age chose to act through economics instead of nation states. Powered by the industrial and digital revolutions that came before it, this age gave birth to a twisted economic revolution, a battlefield revolution. It created a new world without substance. In this new world, there were no ideologies, no principles, no ideals, not even the thing she treasured most, loyalty. There was only the war economy. It was a colossal error in judgment, one zero couldn't possibly have foreseen. With the American system in a state of collapse, Patriot society has reverted to a blank slate. This man, 
was the source of it all. And he doesn't even realize it. He's completely unaware of the fact that he led the world to the brink of ruin. Even with so much bad blood between us, it's funny. Now that I'm actually face to face with him again, the hatred is gone. All I feel is a deep sense of longing and pity. Did Zero really hate me? Or did he fear me? Too late to ask him now. The original members, Paramedic, Sigint, Eva, Ocelot, they've all passed on. Only Zero is left. Everything has its beginning, but it doesn't start at one. It starts long before that, in chaos. The world is born from zero. The moment zero becomes one is the moment the world springs to life. One becomes two, two becomes ten. Then becomes one hundred. Taking it all back to one solves nothing. So long as zero remains, one will eventually grow to one hundred again. So, our goal was to erase Zero. Even the mighty Patriots began with a single man. That one man's desires grew huge, bloated, absorbed technology, began to manipulate the economy. We realized too late that we had created a beast. We had helped turn Zero into 100. His sin was ours. And for that reason, I'm taking it upon myself to send Zero back to nothing. You going back to Zero as well? You erased me two times before. Today will mark the third. The fox die Zero planted in you. It's already begun eating away at my body. Truth is, the fox die in you is what killed Eva and 
an ocelot. What are you talking about? Naomi. She told me... everything. What's wrong? They did it again. They used you to kill me. Oh, oh. The Patriots know their proxies in order to bury us. They did it again. In the end, they're no more than a program. Oh. All they can do is repeat the same pattern over and over again. Oh. Do me a favor, will you? Take me over to her. There's one more thing Naomi wanted me to tell you about the oh, old fox dye in your body. The one that mutated. The new fox dye uh, inside you continues to multiply. At the same time, it is preventing the old mutated fox dye from reproducing. The new fox dye is uprooting the old. Naomi confirmed it in her follow-up. The mutants are receding. Before long, they'll be gone entirely. Does that mean the mutant strain won't cause an epidemic? Oh, it will only live as long as you do. <laughs> but even then, the process will just repeat itself. One day, the new fox die too will start to mutate. And become a new threat. But that is, if you manage to live that long. Am I going to die? Everyone dies. You can't stop it. You can't run away from it. Let me tell you something. Don't. Don't waste the life you have left fighting. I never thought of you as a son, but I've always respected you as a soldier and as a man. mistakes that I did. Ever since the day I killed the boss with my own hands, I was already dead. It's not a 
about changing the world. It's about doing our best to leave the world the way it is. It's about respecting the will of others and believing in your own. Isn't that what you fought for? At last, I understand the meaning behind what you did. At last, I understand the truth behind your courage. to zero, a new one, a new future will be born. That new world is yours to live in, not as a snake, but as a man. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we all fought a long, bloody war for our liberty. We fought to free ourselves from nations and systems and norms and ages. But no matter how hard we tried, the only liberty we found was on the inside trapped within those limits. The boss and I may have chosen different paths, but in the end, we were both trapped inside the same cage. Liberty. Oh! You, you have been given freedom. Freedom to be outside. You are nobody's tool now. No one's toy. You are no longer a prisoner of fate. You are no longer a seed of war. Oh, it's time for you to see the outside world with your own eyes. Your body and your soul 
are your own. Forget about us. Live for yourself.
Snake, wait up. You forgot these. No thanks. I'm quitting. Snake? These things will kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. It sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Autocron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes, no memes. You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. A blue rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. What little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were. And stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? again.